Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing all good today. So, it is officially the 1st of September now. I feel like summer is over already. Um, but yeah, I want to play with some makeup. And recently, my friend gifted me the Be Perfect Carnival XL Pro palette. I think it's time to get some looks out of this palette. I believe the new Stacey Marie Carnival palette is out. She's got a new one called the Antidote palette, which is heavily warm green based colours in there. But I've still got this to play with. Um, I haven't made a purchase on the new one because obviously I've got this. I only just got it and I want to bang out some videos using this palette just to give people some inspo or uh, give myself some inspo as well because there's just so many colours to choose from. But considering I haven't done an actual video this year, I am going to stick on some greens. Um, it is one of my makeup goals to use more greens this year, so I think this palette would be perfect for that. So yeah, I'm just going to muck about, play with this, see what I can come up with. Um, it won't be too technical, it's just going to be a simple look that everyone can do, I guess, and a wearable look. I try to make my looks really wearable, so no matter what colour it is, you can wear it whatever, hopefully. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm just going to get on with it. There's not really new makeup bits that I've got to try. Don't get me wrong, there's been lots of releases popping out everywhere, but this just hasn't been anything that I actually need. Um, I just want to keep on playing with my palettes, what I've already got, and... Um, just see what comes along, I guess. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into this palette. I don't know if you can tell, but I actually have been playing around with this palette this morning. So if I've got a bit of stain on my lids, that is why. So far, I've been enjoying playing with this palette. I've done quite a few looks with it already behind the camera. I've been using it on a daily day basis. And I've been enjoying it a lot. Right, I'm just gonna quickly put on a primer. I'm gonna use the Banana Split Primer from My Hot Revolution, only because I haven't used it in absolute ages. Um, and when I haven't used something in ages, I get guilty. I have like a guilty feeling. <laughs> it sounds so stupid because at the end of the day, it's just makeup in it, but I feel bad on my palettes when I don't use them. So it's like, oh, I need to use you today. It's been a while. Um, but yeah, this primer is just very, very dewy. I'm just gonna pop on my Beauty Bay eyeshadow base. This is in the number two shade. And I'm just gonna put this quite a bit. Again, I am gonna play with some neon green. I actually don't own a neon green in any of my actual palettes I've got in the minute. So this is my first ever Neon green, I think I've got. Unless the Made by Mitchell Feet on the Ground palette has a neon green. I can't remember. It's always good to check what we've got already. So this is the Mates RIP Mirror. This is the Made by Mitchell palette. He's got neon yellow, but not neon green. So yeah, I can honestly say this is my only other neon green I've got in an eyeshadow palette, so. This, ain't, this palette ain't going anywhere. But yeah, I'm gonna focus mainly on the greens today, so. I'm gonna go in this shade here called Ecstasy. Bright neon green, and I'm gonna put that on the inner corner. So I have played with this green before, and it is definitely neon. It's just show up neon. Um, I'm gonna put this on the inner corner. Like, look at that. Shit messing. Yeah, this, this green is just wowzers. It's a proper Hulk green, like a bright neon. And that's what I like. If you're gonna do neon, do neon right because there ain't no point. My lips are feeling dry. Um, I feel like I haven't filmed in absolute ages. It's because of the bank holiday weekend and I went to Creamfields on the weekend, which was so good. I've got a vlog coming up. Oh, it should be already up by now. Um, I'll link it down below if you wanna see it. I'll probably forget to link it down below though. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into a different color. Time to go in a different colour. I'm thinking of going into the hype. Let's go with a bit of the hype gradient in that. Put that on the middle, middle area of the lid. Okay. No issues. Right, now I'm gonna go into Nuke, which is a darker green. I'm gonna take a smaller brush first because I wanna get a lot I want to get quite a lot of colour on there so nuke I 
Might play with a bit of black eyeshadow as well whilst we've got it in the pan. I am going to blend that out slightly with just a fluffy brush. But yeah, these shadows that I've found just blend in with each other so nice, so effortlessly. Can't go wrong with these green shades. This is so out of my comfort zone now. Um, I just never play with greens. I, I don't know why, but I'm trying my hardest to, to not like bother me. I'm working with such a weird order today. I'm gonna go back into that neon ecstasy shade and just bring it on the lower lash line, just at the front. I'm gonna go into the Hype again and a bit of the Nuke shade just to close it off on the lower lash line. And then for inner corner, I'm going to go in with Fair Play. I think that'll look nice, just right in there, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna play with some black eyeshadow now. So I'm gonna go with Lights Out, this dark shadow here. I can always feel like with a green look, I have to add black somewhere. Um, I don't know why, I just think it Pulls it together. Okay, so this is what we go so far. This is what we go so far. This is what we've got so far. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, I am gonna add like a black eyeliner pencil. I always do this in most of my looks. I don't know why. I just just like it, I guess. Um, okay, I'm just gonna use a Rimmel Soft Cold Black Eyeliner Pencil and just go in the waterline and then on the top. And then I'm gonna add a highlighter at the top. I'm gonna add this shade Fair Play again, because I think that worked quite nice. Yeah. So eyeshadow complete. I'm actually quite liking it now. I am jumping into the foundation now. So I'm gonna use the Ciate London Extraordinary Foundation in the shade Silk. Sort of this odd. I've got such a cold recently. I think I caught something from Creamfields. I did take a test though, and I'm, I am negative. So, maybe it's just a cold. But, yeah, I'm just feeling a bit meh recently. This foundation is so dark. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought I brought the right shade this time, but no. So, concealer, I'm gonna go in my Primark conceal stick. I've got it in the shade, I think it's ivory, yeah. I've been really liking this conceal at the minute, so just put a bit on my hand. Then I'm just gonna go in. I don't know what it is about this concealer, but I've just been really liking it. So I just went into my Revolution Lace Powder. I powdered up my T-zone and now I'm gonna do some contour. So I'm getting really into this I Heart Revolution Chocolate Caviar at the minute. I still think it's still do too dark for me, this shade, but I don't know. I've just been liking it more and more recently. And then for my nose contour i use the l'oreal back to bronze down my nose slightly and under my cupid's bow but yeah this chocolate caviar don't know what it is about it but i'll just keep on using it like i used it to cream field so a blush i keep continuing to use at the minute is the i Heart revolution disney mermaid palette this is the Little Mermaid palette. I keep using this Make a Splash shade at the minute. I wish I had more of a yellow tone blush to go with this look, but I honestly don't have one anywhere. So yeah, we're just going with this. 
highlighter. So I haven't used this in a while. This is the Revolution Highlighter in the shade Golden Lights. I think this would look quite cute. I'm going to use the Cranberry Makeup Fixing Spray as well. This was featured inside the, was it the Chocolate Vault Tin or the Tasty Hamper? I can't remember. Either one of them. And I'm just going to spray a lot on my sponge. This just melts the makeup together, I think. Um, yeah, I just really like it. So this highlighter, let's put some of this on. Oh God, that's a lot. <laughs> Goes with the look though. Such a lot though. I'm just gonna blend that in on my sponge a bit. But yeah, I like that as a highlighter shade. I think it goes with the eye look. I'm gonna put a bit on my brow bone, just up there. Cause I think that'll can go nicely. Okay, so lip liner, I am gonna use my Primark Foxy Nude shade. This pencil is so annoying because I really like shade on it, but it just doesn't sharpen the way I want it to. Like I have to keep on sharpening it and it's just so annoying. But yeah, I just really like this shade. I'm gonna try and find a lipstick that matches that shade. So we've got this one. Ooh, this is a W7 lipstick in the shade Exposed. That could look okay. Hmm. So this is the chocolate lip gloss from I Heart Revolution. It doesn't have a shade name. I'm not sure why, but hopefully this can look okay. Hmm. I was hoping for something more. yellow okay so lashes i am just gonna curl my lashes put this nourishing mascara on um why the brand butanio and then i might put some lashes on we'll see you know what i had in my head this was gonna be like a playful uh wearable green type of eyeshadow but whenever i do add green eyeshadow i stick on some heavy ass lashes and yeah, I kind of just get carried away. So I've got these big lashes. These are Unicorn Cosmetics in the style Apple Sours. Um, I normally just go for like wispy light lashes, but for some reason today, I haven't played a wrong, I haven't played in green eyeshadow in a long time. And I just thought I wanted to wear something quite dramatic. And here it is. Um, yeah, we're going for a green look from the Carnival XL Pro Palette. This palette, oh my God, if you have not got this and you don't have a lot of eyeshadow palettes and you wanna play with color, definitely get this, I recommend it. Because I've got this, I seriously don't need another palette, but I will carry on by palettes because that is me. But realistically, you, you pretty much don't need another palette because you've got everything here. Um, but yeah, I totally recommend that. If you're not bothered about collecting a lot of palettes, definitely go for that. Um, but yeah, do let me know what you think of this a green eyeshadow look. I don't really play a lot with greens and I thought I'd do a green look considering there is a new palette now from Sesame Marie, which is an antidote palette. So here's my typical green look. I know, I don't think there is a neon green in that palette, I don't think. I'll have to look, have a look at it again, but yeah. I haven't really tried much new products in this video, just the palette, I haven't really showed that on my channel before. So I want to do more looks this palette, definitely. Um, I wanna do a blue look, I wanna do a pink purple look, I wanna do a yellow look. Um, maybe play with some neutral tones down here. Yeah, there's just so many looks to go into with this. I could even do a green and gold look with this. I bet that would look nice because they're similar tones from the Antidote palette. Um, but yeah, I think this is just a statement makeup look today. I'm gonna leave it there today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial using the XL palette. Do let me know if you've got this. Are you still using it to this day even though they've brought a new one out? I'd love to know your opinions. But yeah, I've got the sniffles I need to go. <laughs> if you did like this video, do give it a big thumbs up, she'll help my channel out. And of course, if you don't wanna miss out on my other future uploads, especially with this palette, then hit subscribe button down below. And yeah, hope to see you in the next one. Bye.